Well, this was a weird one. In any case, season finale, baby, Courtney and Josh. The kitchen was spicier than the bedroom, but not anymore. <laughs> Let's find out why. It's time for love after lock up, baby. Hi. <sighs> Let's get into it. This one made me laugh. It, it was ridiculous a little bit. I hope and pray we can work our way through this. So Josh has become quite the romantic. I am starting to regret giving up my career for Josh. Oh, well. What is this? But then she changes her mind. She found a post-it note and there's all these notes everywhere and it's like a scavenger hunt and it leads her to her amazing Josh. Hey baby, I know you had a long day. Wanted to surprise you. Head to the place I hope gets spicier in the future. The bedroom. The kitchen. <laughs> I just like out. That made me laugh too much. You guys, you need to see this. Here we go again. No, this is crazy. And there was even something around the dog and everything. Like, I don't know how she literally followed every single. She saw all them posted notes. But yeah, they did a good job with that. That was romantic. I hope it gets spicier. Is he go to the place? Head to the place. I hope it gets spicier in the future. Go to the place. I hope it gets spicier in the future. And this woman really, literally said the kitchen. That right there should tell you everything you need to know about these people's relationship okay it is down the drain so far down i don't even know what to tell you like this woman woman really thought this guy meant the kitchen and she went there as well didn't find anything and then went to the bedroom how embarrassing after all that you can't even get no love y'all married and everything can't even get no love that's madness the kitchen <laughs> when i tell you i laughed <laughs> In any case, then he says, go and get a bath and then wear this dress. So she does. And then he's there like, yeah, boy, but she's dressed like that. And then he's dressed like this, but okay, whatever. Look, both he's really made an effort. Like, it's very nice. Way before crossing. Big deal. Oh, that is beautiful. All their pictures. Yeah. When she was disguising herself as other women so that they wouldn't see that she was the one coming back to visit him. <laughs> the ratchet of it all. I want to tell you I'm sorry for the other day, like arguing. And... Yes, be very sorry. And then what's that? It's a ring. A ring. That's kind of a big deal. I bought a ring basically because I realized I hurt you, you know? I'm sorry for what I did. It's not going to happen again. You're not going to flush that one? No, nope, not, not The fact that he flushed his ring down the toilet I don't even know smells like pickle I regret and she was still there like some of these things that people do like it's just not acceptable it is so unacceptable that you can decide to bounce because it's a sign of how worse things can get somebody you can be angry all right but why do you flush your wedding ring down the toilet are you you did Chris flushing my ring down the toilet in prison that had a lot of value to her and also I didn't know he did that in prison in prison are you sure is your timeline adding up is it straight can you even have a wedding ring in prison there's a lot of meaning to her i've never been given an answer as to why my husband cannot parole to our home that's another thing we never find out why he cannot parole to her home whether they try to fight that how they fight it remember last season with like destiny and sean destiny kept going back to court to court to court to court to fight this to fight that to hear about this and that and we were there every single time she was going. It's like they followed them for a bit longer. But with these people, everything is, oh, it's up in the air. We don't see, like with Amber and Poppy, them to go and meet a lawyer. Talking about the adoption of Poppy by, by Vincent. There's none of that. Everything is very vague. And we are missing so many steps. And I just don't get this season. Oh, we're fighting us for damn sure. Fighting for them. Josh and I talk a great deal about the future he knows my dream is to build a house have a wedding and to foster children but 
That is nice. So years down the road. You promise you'll never leave? No. All right. You promise you'll never leave? What about you? Now we can have a real wedding. Yeah, so anyway, what he does is he, he gets the ring and then she's like, oh, give it back. And it's like, give me a kiss first. And then he holds the ring, gets the kids kiss, he holds the ring and he's like, he proposes to her again. Real uh, notebook, you know, your, your favorite rom-com or whatever type stuff. Okay. So he's been doing some searching, some soul searching, some book searching, movie searching to do all these things, but it is very sweet indeed. I'm focused on the future, you know, like you are? now after the day, you know, I know what I'm doing wrong. I know what I need to fix. Okay. Well, in any case, so he might be paroling obviously to that cousin of his. He's not allowed to parole to where her house is and she's his whole wife. And I think they're doing that to punish her and make an example out of her because she was working in a prison and you cannot just work in a prison, go with an ex inmate or, or with an inmate, actually date an inmate whilst you are working as a Lieutenant or whatever in a prison. And she went to jail for 60 days, which is quite a lot. And then now she's on parole for two years, but you can't get off that scotch. -free. You need to have some sort of real consequence that you're going to feel for doing such a thing. And that is why they're not allowing him to really stay with her and, and do all this married life. It's like, nah, you're going to feel that this is real because we're going to separate you from your man for a very long time. And I don't even know how long that is. We didn't get to see that side of the process. I think they could have filmed all of these couples a little bit longer for us to get a better idea of what the heck was really going on so in any case she's still married but living alone this is the update y'all and just violated his parole and was sent back to prison for six months the joy of it all and why is he not wearing a shirt in his mugshot i don't know but the whole thing is just incredibly sad i have nothing more to say about these people another whack storyline i don't know I wish I could be more positive, but that's really what I feel about it. So in any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bumps, thumb, pass on to that subscribe button, comment because I really want to know anything, like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification, but watch at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily-ish videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like they could have showed a little bit more as well? Let me know down below. Okay, I'm out. Bye.